So we're in Minnesota again, but uh, we were supposed to come out here uh, tomorrow anyways to check out uh, what's left of the uh, Canterbury collection that I'll be selling in about a month. Uh, and uh, Ben here, who helped me with the Cannonball collection, also found another collection. So we moved it up by day. We're going to see about 60 or 75 cars that an older gentleman owns, and uh, we're going to uh, try to buy them all uh, if possible and if they're in the uh, price range that we need. Now we're still in the great state of Minnesota and uh, we're checking out uh, Mr. Donahue's cars. He's got uh, a couple of three locations that we're going to go to. Uh, we're here at the first one and uh, we're going to see what's up. Uh, he has uh, quite a few cars. It looks like 50 or 60 at least. And uh, I'm not sure uh, what we can do. Maybe we try to buy them all. Maybe we buy one or two. Let's go see. Okay, we'll start with some of the worst ones. Some of the worst ones. Yeah. I was telling him about this clip. Yeah, that's an Australian 36 Ford front clip. Boy, I had to explain to him that in, in the 30s, it was too expensive to ship them, so they opened a plant over there. There's a guy coming, was out yesterday, he's going to take some of the parts off it. We kind of keep a low profile here. I understand completely. We got a couple of 64 Galaxies. They're pretty rough, but they're, we got parts for them all over. That is pretty rough. Too bad. Too well, it's like I had to tell Ben once I started coming up here, the idea of rust uh, here in Minnesota is a lot different than Texas. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to find me a truck for from Texas I need for my plow truck. You just tell me what kind, that's easy enough. We're heavy on Studebaker, that's a hard top there. We've got a couple more back here. There's a 49 Ford convertible back there. Yeah, any good? yeah I see that. Project. That is definitely a project. Projects that far gone are hard for me to deal with because I got to move them. You got a shop down there or just uh, buy and sell? Oh, yeah. We, uh, I own Gas Monkey Garage. Yep. Got a 47 Ford up here. Okay. Mark Flathead. Came from South Dakota. This is a uh, Galaxy XL convertible. That's a GT. You won't see many of them. 429 four speed car. It is a 429 four speed. How much is this one? I'm not seeing it on the list. I think I had 30 on that one. Okay. I think that's what I saw before too. On yeah. The sheet. Yeah. Are the shoe boxes coming around? Uh, the business coupes, you know, have always stayed kind of okay, but the the bigger ones and the you oh. know, the bigger Victorias and the. This one here is a project. Uh, a donor for a, I got a good body over in Watertown. This is 50 years of collecting. Well, so. it's a lot of collecting. Yeah. We'll sneak in here for a bit. 69 Mach 1 Mustang, huh? So it's an S code? I got to look at the not a 428. Yeah, but a 390 would be an S code. It's right by your hands right there. Yeah, I don't see it. Shouldn't it just be right there? Yeah, it's supposed to be here. There it is. I can't even read that with my eyeballs. Let's see if you can. My eyes are too uh, too old. Fifth digits and S. Okay, that's an S code. That's cool. You want to show them that motor, Tom, all rebuilt for yeah. this one? Yeah. As long as you're here, I want you to tell me what that dash is off of. That's not Ford. No. I'm going to say that that is... Um, probably 1930 and backwards so maybe even into the late 20s chevrolet or or buick got a crank on a windshield i think with that hole in the center yeah but with the way that it's constructed it would have been back when they were still wood framed cars yeah and that went in the wood was there and then the front yeah firewall went together yeah but i would say general motors maybe I don't know though. It's cool. You said these were the GT manifolds and heads, Tom? Yeah, okay. And that's the numbers matcher for that car. That's cool. S codes are pretty hard to come by, but not for 25 grand. Tom, numbers matching for that car, correct? Uh, yeah, you can go out that door there. Okay. Pretty cool. Let's head out to Watertown, Tom. You know the way? You, I'll follow you. We will follow you, sir. So we got about three or four locations to pick from, and uh, we're on our way to the second one. 
He gave me a list with some pricing and it's gonna be hard to get some things bought, but we'll see. So where are we going next? So now we're going to the second location, which is Watertown. Watertown West. I wasn't super excited going into that last location. I didn't want to hype it up too much, but there's definitely some gems in this one. Fastback Mustang 66 model 2 plus 2. There's a 64 Ford Galaxy XL, beautiful car. A couple old Thunderbirds, the Cordoba with fi featuring the fine Corinthian leather. A Cordoba! Uh, there's, Back when there's Lee a Iacocca. No. Uh, Ricardo Monteblon did that uh, commercial. That's it. Fine Corinthian leather. Yes, it sounded good. Uh, we got a couple five liter Mustangs. There's a Mercury Capri five liter. Uh, just some kind of soup to nuts, a little bit of everything. What's happening, man? Good to meet you. Richard, Dave. how you doing? Right on. Hey, Richard. Hey, guys. Hey, I'm Mike. Is this where y'all hang out and drink beer in the afternoons yeah, or what? Yeah, yeah. Where's that Miller Lite? We were gonna I got one in the car. I got one in the car. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Me right on. I'm son. Oh, right. Okay, right on. Yeah, I'm not having to drive, so I don't care. <laughs> All right, so building number one. Yeah, come on in and at your own risk. At my own risk. That's the Cavalier. There I had to buy to finish mine. Oh, okay. It's 35 or 36. I've got both cowls, both sets of fenders. Both front clips. I've got all, I got extra doors, extra tops, extra grills, fenders, Ford. floor pans for it. And, uh, huh. Enough where you can build two or three cars. Oh, you do have some floor pans and stuff. Yeah. Windshield pieces that are special for that. I, I left Maybe my list in the car. We got any kind of flathead you want on the rack. You no do. Cars. Four, everything from 460 down to, I sold the six cylinders, but there's every kind of 302, 351. We got Cleveland's. Mm -hmm. um, That's very cool. But uh, you need a Buick fender, I got one over there right now. I don't know that I need a Buick fender. All right, 36 or 35 Cabriolet. They did not. Oh, but I got one. <laughs> Runs like a top. What did you, uh, did you convert it or? I bought it just like you see it. So not factory though? Well, I think what happened is somebody put it on a station wagon and picked up running gear. Okay. There we go. Now we got some light. Yeah. It fits too nice to be. A Jeepster's pretty cool. Yeah, but it fits too nice to be switched over frame. He was saying he thinks that somebody might have at one point Modified switched it. the frame. This is a trip. Somebody just got rid of the back half of the car and said, I got a truck now. <laughs> you know, I'm tired of driving this old car. We're going to make ourselves a truck. 5.0 convertibles. Where's that list? It's a little Mustang coupe back here. This little Ford's pretty cool. Kind of nifty. French in headlights oh, that's from cool. back in the day. That's cool. Fucking five five. No motor. Whoa, John Cobbins. Now see, when they talk about rust in Minnesota, this is usually what we're looking at. Now see, they'd say this is not too much rust, but that's average right there. Yeah. In Texas, that won't fly. Golly, he's got that Ford Coupe in there, 215, no, 2500, okay. I'm about to go wait a second. Let's go yeah, look at that truck, really and then we'll go over to that, that house. That's where those nice, uh, that Galaxy and those Mustangs are. We're moving and grooving. Well, so far we haven't seen a whole bunch of anything that we want, but we're trying. All right, don't need that, don't need that. There's that 69 Galaxy. Uh, 
That's his good body he was talking about. I remember that. Galaxy, but torn apart a little bit. A couple four doors, don't need those. He probably bought those for the drivetrains. Now, the maroon pickup is the one you have listed here as a 51, right? Yeah, it's got a 289 Mustang motor. That's what I'm looking at. D does Given in the normal stuff, will it run and drive, you know, battery and fresh gas and all that? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. It's got a six speed tranny with overdrive. Oh, really? All you do is flip the toggle switch. Yep. The red Galaxy got sold last night. Oh, well, that's right. I, I'm coming from as far away as I am. I can't afford to buy cars that are apart. It'll take me yeah. forever to move them. Yeah. All right, so I got a few things that I found that I kind of want. Have to see if we want to get a kind of a package deal going. I like the little Jeepster thing. I like the uh, Ford uh, drag car. Uh, I like the old truck in there. Um, I like the 35 Cabriolet. Few others. So here we go. Uh, stock number four ish, I guess. Uh oh. Thunderbird time. I like to move it, move it. Tom, wasn't this a real low miler? Yeah. I'm out of Elgin, Illinois. Wow. Automatic, pony interior, yep. and it's got a factory, factory AC. Yep. Power steering, power brakes, and AC on a little 289 with an automatic. Now if I can get in here and check the other side for rust. This is a yeah. two plus two. This is C code 289 four barrel. Yep. I can't find this little rusty one here on the list. That's a 64 and a half convertible 289. That's a four speed car, too. It's rusty. If it's a 64 and a half, it should be a three speed. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. Base, base, 65. Okay. Good enough? Yeah. Nope, it'll... Yeah, I got quite a few things picked out here. So uh, here we are. I'm at like stop six or something. I don't even know. What is this place called? Glencoe. 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 That's another Studebaker. Crusty and rusty. I think this is a 394 speed car. Little Galaxy action. It's a four speed car, I know that. Yeah, it says 390. She's a grinder. I think it ran pretty good in Pullman. This it's thing's too cool. rusty it's on this one. has got another nice one over here. What year is this one, Richard? He said this one gets something going pretty good. I'm just worried about rust right now. Uh. South Dakota car. A little bit of dents. This is probably a 66. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're into parts. He's got doors. Oh. That number 13 door is pretty cool. Yeah. Check out this SE, guys. It's not a hidden headlight. Four hundred four barrel. 
Yeah, bucket C car. I've heard that one run that charger. That thing's got a little cam in it and stuff. Like that. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let's get camera. Yeah. Automatic bucket seats. We go from rough to rougher to roughest. Is there anything in here? Are there any cars in here? No. Here's part of a car. Fenders and cowl. You have collected a bunch of stuff, sir. Yeah. Another floor on top of it plus the floor below. There's all kinds of parts up there. See, I can't do too many parts. Okay. Too many projects. You got a lot of projects, sir. Oh, yeah. You yeah, really did. And took on a neighbor's <laughs> house, which is a three story. And we took her right down to the studs. No kidding. Insulation, everything. Plumbing, you, heating, you wiring. Got a, you got a lot to do, sir. Yeah. You want to help? Well, I'm trying to help you right now. Oh, okay. I got about six or ten of them marked down here, Mr. Okay. Donahoe. Um, we'll start with the first one. The 35 Ford Cabriolet. You got marked at 7,500. Does that include all the parts and everything that you got for it? Uh, not all of them, but I, I gotta save some for the for the the coops. I got two coop or the coop in here and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and then you've got a '51 uh, pickup in there, um, Watertown East with the 289 in it. Yeah. You got that at 7,500. Yeah. I'd like to pay five grand. Mm, I paid 65 for that thing. And uh, then you've got the little Ford drag coupe in there. A little what? A little Ford drag coupe that's in there, Watertown East. The primer black. It's in black with the... Next to the Jeepster. Oh, that little coupe? Yeah, you got 2500 on that. Yeah. I'd like to do that one if I can. Maybe yeah. for 2000 And then we get to the good stuff, Watertown West, the 2 plus 2 Fastback. I'd like to get fifteen grand for that. You got it at twenty. Um, that came out of Florida. The old lady had it. She moved up here. She didn't have power steering, so she sold it. Bought a car with power steering. Retired. Okay. Steering. That thing's solid as a rock. It's a nice little car. En engine's been rebuilt, and uh, tranny's been rebuilt. And uh, uh, what do we got on that one? You got twenty. I'd like to get fifteen. Uh, it's cutting her pretty tight. Those things are bringing pretty good money right now. Well, I got to move her and get her back up on the road and all that good stuff. All he needs is a battery and gas. New tank, new tank and fuel pump, everything on that one. Got to clean it. You don't have to clean that tank. It's only been in there about a year. Well, I mean the car, period. Well, yeah. How about 16.5? Drive it in the rain. Uh, that's one of the best ones I got, other than that yellow bird and uh, the blue bird. Then you got, uh, right next to it, you got a 64 white Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, you got eight grand on that. I'd yeah. like to pay five. The crop insurance guy has a sun that shows. I'd go seven on that. It's like pickers. I know. Except for I buy cool shit, they buy stop signs for $5. Yeah. Um, then you got, a, I guess here at Glencoe, you got that 66 uh, hard top red car four speed. That's 67? Um, yeah. We got one of each. There's uh, there's two 67s. One's out behind the fence here. That's just a uh, 67 289 I think Tommy's automatic. talking about the one inside. I'm talking about the one inside, inside that's a red, red four-speed. Red four-speed. That come out of South Dakota, white South Dakota. Yeah, and you want 10 grand for it. Yeah. I'd like to give 7,500. I'd go eight on that. Okay. And then you got the 46 coupe in here with the 289 in it right over there yeah. on the silver building. Uh, you got four grand on it. I'd like to give three. Uh, that one I got to stay at four. I got a lot of money on that one. Got that a long time. And then the 67 red that's inside uh, over in this building that's an automatic Galaxy. 
the 66? Well, it says 67 red. Get the mix up here. You got a 66 red that you got marked at 10 grand. I'm assuming that's the four speed. And then you got a 67 red you got mixed at seven, which I'm assuming is the one in this building. Okay, there's two 67s. The green one's out in back. You didn't even see that. That's yeah, we don't want that. No, we'll cross that off. <clears throat> the red one's a four speed. That's the one you got at seven grand? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to give uh, six. Can you change lanes? Um, you got to do it yourself. Make a 65. A 66 Galaxy hard top, that red one. That's the nice one in this silver yeah. belt. Yeah, that came right off the, the showroom floor. In 66. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm that, gonna that big guy back there who wants it too. Well, I'm gonna be more. You want to wrestle him? <laughs> <laughs> He's good He's at it. Stronger than me, I probably wouldn't win. <laughs> um, put deads in the hood here. No, no, I'm being careful. New hood. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Um, I'm gonna be more like 6,500 on that one. No, oh, you gotta get closer than that. Well, I can go 7,500 is what I have. And that red one? The red nice one in here. Yeah, the automatic XL. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd go eight. Let me think about that. We're not going there. We're just too far apart on the Mach 1. I still haven't heard any answers. On the MG? What other ones did you have there? I didn't have to write them all down. You had the on this bit uh, here at Glencoe. I've got the '67 four-speed. Yep. Uh, you want sixty-five hundred? You said. Yep. The forty-six with the two eighty-nine oh, in it. You go. said four thousand. And then the sixty-six hardtop red. I said. Uh, eight. You said eight. Yeah. Okay. And then the only other stuff we. What did you do in that coupe? The little coupe you said you wouldn't come off of 4,000. 46? Yeah, make it 35. And then a uh, little coupe drag car That's at Watertown there. East. Okay. That's like, it's funny looking. At two grand, you got 2,500. Let's see where we got that. And east, 54 coupe. Would you say two on that? Yeah, you got 2,500. Yeah. And then um, the 51 pickup with the 289 that's in uh, yeah. Watertown East. I want to give five grand for that. No, we got to go at least uh, 65 on that one. Okay, 6,500. Yeah. And I'm going to skip the Cabriolet. Kozumowski wants that. Yeah. The painter. Yeah, I'm going to skip. Yeah. Is that house color? Oh, John no. Kazmoski. I talked to him this morning. He was going to come out, but I didn't know what time you guys were coming in. We might get a auction going. That'd be all right, too. <laughs> well, I do that stuff, too. Yeah. 7,000 on that Galaxy, and then <clears throat> 2 plus 2 is how much? 17? 17.5 17 is what you told me. Yeah, okay. So we're good on the 2 plus 2 at 17.5. Yeah. Um, 64 is 7. We're good at 64 at 7. That mm -hmm. looks like a solid car. The, the coupe at uh, 2,000. The, the, the drag car coupe at 2,000. And then the 51 uh, pickup at 65. At 65. And that takes care of all of uh, Watertown. Yeah. And then here at Glencoe, uh, we got the 46 coupe with the 289 for 3,500. Yeah. And the 67 red four speed for 6,500. Yep. And I'm going to stay away from the 66 hard top, the other one, the automatic in this building. Okay. Uh, unless I can have it for six. Oh, that's, that's an awful nice one. That's, yep, that's <laughs> why I'd like it for six. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's 10, that's only two cars here in Glencoe. That's the 46 289 and the 67. Uh, four speed and that's 10 grand here in Glencoe and then at Watertown East we've got uh, the drag car mm -hmm. and the pickup with the 289 making 8500 total for there and at Watertown West we got the 2 plus 2 and the hard top at 17 5 and 7 that's 24 5 that is 24 5 
and here added up to 65 and 10. So that is uh, 18, 5, and 24, 5. If I'm not missing my guess there. It's 10, 85, 32. That's going to be 32, 5 total. That's 43 even. Did come out? Yes. I was off on that. 43 even. Okay. Uh, do these cars all have titles? Yes. Okay. Uh, that old coupe, the 46, is uh, that's an old title. I gotta dig for that one. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get these cars out anytime soon, soon. Yeah. But what I could do is uh, get you paid, um, you know, this week when I get back. I can just wire you the money. Is that fair? Do what? Wire the money or you want cash or what do you want? CIF. What is that? Cash and fist. Okay. Well, then if we gotta bring cash, that means I gotta come up here again. Oh, they should go to the bank. Ben's got a lot of money. <laughs> uh, okay, I can make that happen. I can wire it to Ben or something. That's fine with me. Yeah. And uh, he can bring it over and he's yeah. going to help get them out and get them over to my property over at uh, Cannonburg's Sport Wheels. All right, so we got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six cars total. Cool. Yeah. Excellent doing business with you, sir. Yeah, pass that MG stuff around. I am. I've, I've called my guy that he's the only guy I would know to call on. All right, so here we are in lovely uh, Minnesota. I've been through uh, one, two, three, four uh, locations and uh, a lot of good cars. A lot of them that I wanted to buy, but um, you know, moving cars that have a lot of parts this far is kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm, I'm kind of looking for whole cars. And uh, then we were a little far away on some of the pricing. But uh, I ended up getting a really cool 56 Ford Coupe that's already been hot rodded. Uh, it's got a little 289 in it. And I uh, got that, I think, pretty cheap, 3,500 bucks. And uh, then uh, I moved on to uh, the 67 in this red barn behind me as a uh, four-speed uh, bucket seat coupe console. Really sweet. So uh, I ended up uh, talking him down to 6,500 on that one. So we spent 10 grand at this location. And then back at the place that had like the three or so different metal buildings, uh, I was only able to get the 51 Ford pickup. It's kind of a maroon brown color. It was so dark in there, I couldn't tell, but it already had a 289 in it and was lightly hot rodded. Got that for 6,500. And then there was a little coupe drag car in there. No motor, no missing a few pieces, but it is a business coupe and it's just got a cool look to it. I mean, I think somebody might buy that just for yard art and only gave two grand. So we spent $8,500 in that building, but the good building that we made the money at, hopefully, is uh, I got the 66 black on black uh, Mustang 2 plus 2 uh, power steering, power brakes, AC. And was that car a four speed? I don't Auto. Know. Automatic, yeah. With the pony interior. With the pony interior. So super killer car, uh, black on black, 66 fastback, 2 plus 2 automatic power steering power brakes and factory air with a little 289 so doesn't hurt my feelings at all at 17.5 i mean that's a pretty big number but i stepped up and did it anyways and then right next to it was a real clean bodied uh bucket seat automatic 64 galaxy hardtop might have paid a little bit too much for that i gave seven grand but uh that meant 24.5 in there so 24.5 and 85 is uh 33 and then uh, 10 grand at this location makes uh, 43. Gave him two grand deposit and I gotta send some money up here cause he wants uh, uh, CIF, cash in fist is what he told me. But a great day all the, all the way around. I uh, got to see some pretty cool cars and uh, I may have a buyer for a couple of cars I saw today. Uh, so there's always a way to come back up and check them out. And uh, now that we've had a good day, we're gonna have us cold beer. Woo! And don't forget, Go online, get your merch, get your stickers, get your koozies, get your everything, because you're gonna get an opportunity to win one of my cars. Every dollar you spend is one entry, and you're gonna get to come up to Dallas, party with me, and pick any car in the room. I can't say no. Get it, gasmonkeygarage.com, and keep watching us. And if you see something on this that you wanna buy, well, by the time you see this, it'll be on its way back to Dallas, and I'm a buyer and a seller, mostly a seller, because that's kind of where I make my money. So there you go. Oh, that beer's cold, Millennials. It's so tasty, too. Too bad this is the last one. I guess y'all have to wait till we get to the hotel.